Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's Forex Market Analysis, we had a pretty decent day because we stuck to all of our rules, we didn't take the patterns that we shouldn't take, one of them got violated and we were in the third one. As well, there is a bonus part of this, uh, today's Market Analysis basically, because I just couldn't let, I couldn't upload a video without letting you see price action hitting those targets and letting you see how the professional trader acts in those situations because the price action was teasing me it was going up and down up and down playing with the spread actually spread on Aussie cat is pretty big did, did you know that well now you do so make sure to watch it until the end of this video because at the end of the video there is a small commentary of two minutes me commenting the price action while, while it's so close to my target so stay tuned we are coming right back Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Forex Market Analysis. It's Wednesday, March the 20th and here I am in front of six of my pairs doing my pre-market analysis. So let's see what do we have here. Uh, so yesterday we took this loser where I made my first live trading mistake. If you still didn't check this video out, please click on the uh, top right corner. I think I'll bring it up right now. Yeah, there we go. So if you want to check it out, it was my first live mistake. I, I was feeling very, very stupid, very, very foolish, but I will try not to repeat it again. So far, what I see here currently is nothing, nothing that I would that I can take advantage of today. So I'll just keep this pair. Uh, Aussie CAD, what do we have here? We can trade uh, bats, but we cannot trade guardless. Do we have a possible bat here? This might be it, look. Uh, sorry, this is what I need. No, we don't have a bat, at least not for now. We... Wait, we might have something. The low of this candle is 28, the low of this candle is 212. One, two, eight. Okay, we might have something. We just might have something. Let's see, do we have a 50% retracement here? I think we do, yeah. Yes, so we have X to A, A to B, B to C. See the completion up there. If this happens, I will have my eye on this. So far, let's set my alert. And, ah, oh, sorry. Alert, I gotta set it up. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, do I have two now? Yeah, so I'll just remove one. Okay, that's the Aussie cat. Aussie USD. A trade that I did not took yesterday, uh, I did, uh, I was showing you yesterday X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. For those of you who are trading bats, this is a Gartley. That was a reminder that I did in yesterday's afternoon session. And uh, if it completed before I got a chance to get engaged with it. So somebody who took this in the Asia session is probably down few a dozen of pips but yeah it is what it is as you can see it didn't work out this garter didn't work out it doesn't matter we just we just gotta move forward to the next one so i'm deleting this one and let's see what do we have now nothing so yeah nothing so far i'm just moving ahead euro dollar yesterday's trade uh a target one break even uh no target one a stop loss for break even go to target two wouldn't get a fill go up would stop me out now and it's, it's going sideways moving but what do i got here it could, could be opportunity for another bad pattern today that would look something like this maybe something like this would be something of my interest today now we're gonna see would this be looks good looks good though okay uh, i need to check the, is this candle the highest one let's see this this one is 614 616 okay so we're good 88.6 here we have a valid bad pattern uh no this is a gartley we have a valid gartley to 87 let's see what do we have 
low is 80. It's, it's a bad pattern. It, we're not touching here. We're not touching the 87 level, the Fib retracement. We're touching the, we're touching the, uh, we're almost touching it. As you can see here, it's, the, uh, with this kind of stuff, you gotta be, you gotta be very, very careful, guys. You gotta dra drag your, uh, Fib levels to, to get the, you know, C trader to hook it on the pro on the top of a candle and on the low of a candle and then you can check out this price right there and take another tool to check out the low of this price and then you can compare them as you can see the low is uh 13 38 6 and the low of 61.8 is 13 38 7 so we did not technically we did not touch the 61.8 retracement so we are waiting for a bad pattern on some of you, if you're using different brokers, this might be the data might be different. So you might have a Gartley, but I have a, a bad pattern. Okay, so I will definitely be looking at uh, this today. Pound dollar a price uh, might be this X to A to B, but I will not take this week as the X to A like. So this is nothing for me. But if you want to check this out, would this be a valid thing for you? Uh, yeah, might be a valid bad pattern as you can see. X to A, A to B, B to C. Okay, and that's one thing. Uh, I I'm not gonna take it. It's too big of a like pound yen. Uh, price continues to make sideways move movement. However, we might have <sighs> Gartley. I think it's a Gartley. Let's see. Yeah. No, no, no. I think the price. Yeah, we so X to A, A to B, and then we have B to C. And when it comes to Gartley, I think we at least need to touch 61.8 retracement when it comes to Gartley on a, a C leg. So I will not be watching this today. And with that being said, guys, that's it for today. This is it for the morning session. I hope to see you soon in the afternoon session. I will repeat it. There will be no action today. I will not upload a video with my Forex market analysis. However, if there will be action, I'll definitely going to upload something so that you guys can see what did I do today. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing if you're new here and see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye bye. So what's up everybody and welcome back to the afternoon session. So let's just quickly go through the pairs because we did get some action today and I want to show you what happened. So on the USD cat, obviously from this morning we had nothing, so nothing here. And here we had a bad pattern, which we did took. It, this was the bad pattern. Let me show you X to A, A to B, and then we have we, we had a B to C, C to D. This is the candle that activated us and this one this was the one that was overbought per our rule. So currently we are well, almost rolling over to hit our targets. Uh, how many pips away? If we come like one pip more down, I will trail my stop loss to break even so that I cannot lose on this trade. Hopefully this will be done in like next minute or so uh, while I'm recording this video so that I can do it in front of you so that you can see how I react on uh, uh, when market does what it needs to do. Uh, besides this, we had a Aussie USD, uh, nothing here today. I, we didn't, we, di we didn't even look at it because there was nothing here. Uh, Euro dollar, we did check out, we did set up this, um, pending bad alarm, you know, bad pattern for a, a bad pattern this morning. However, the A point got violated, so I removed. I didn't remove it on this, I removed it on a different platform on my C trader at work. But yeah, that's that's the point, you know. I removed it so we did not get activated in this trade. So I can remove this as well. This was not a bad pattern at the end of the day. So currently what I'm looking at the euro dollar is nothing. Then we have a pound dollar. There was a bad pattern here uh, for some of you. It was not for me. Uh, this is the bad, let me show you. So we had X to A, A to B. We had a B to C and a CD completion on this big ass bearish engulfing candle. 
the X point was not a valid for me. This is not the actual structure levels that I'm looking at. It has too big of a wick and I'm trying to avoid these kind of patterns. If the X point would be like this smaller wick, then I would probably take it. Also, this kind of a big ass wicks, I'm not taking those. I did not take those in my back testing. So I successfully avoided another a one big loss. I think a pound dollar has a bigger ATR, so it could be a bigger loss. Let's see. Oh yeah, we first gotta see the entry point here. So the entry point was here, the stop loss was here. 60 pips loss is not a bad, it's like half of a percent, a little bit more than half of a percent. So we avoided that loss. So every avoided loss is an essential win. So I'm happy for it uh, that I uh, did make a good decision today. Pound yen, uh, nothing today. There was a, yeah, there was nothing. There was nothing here today. And uh, we did not get engaged in anything so far. So let's check out this Aussie cat. I'm not sure it did move. Let's see. So the low of a candle is 33 and R is 505. Yes, I think I think we got two pips here. Yeah? No, three pips. Yeah, oh yeah, three, three pips, three pips. 33, 50. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, yeah. 505 is three pips, less than 2.8 pips. So we are still, you know, 0 0.8 pips away from my targets one. Uh, not for from targets one from me trailing the stop loss and break even this might not happen I, the price action could just as easily reverse at this price point and hit my stop loss uh, you know go in a negative and hit my stop loss but I'm not gonna do anything about it I need to follow my rules that's the whole point of back testing testing and then front uh, front testing forward testing and then trading it live with that being said, you just watch the uh, daily uh, market analysis. I do this on a daily basis if there is some kind of an action like it was today. And if you like this kind of videos, and if you're new here, consider subscribing, click the like button, smash the bell button, share the video, let, let as many people as possible see this video so that we can help as many people as possible. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, I didn't want to end this video without me showing you this actually. It came, how how close did it came? Like a pip or so? Uh, less than a pip, less than a pip. It's about to hit my targets actually. So I'm about to trail my stop loss. Let's see, maybe we can catch it on a video uh, hitting my targets. Come on, come on. Oof, almost there. Teasing me, but I'm not going to close it. You know, I'm just not going to close. It actually touched the target. Yeah. If if this if this right now reverses and hit my stop loss, it's going to be one hell of a lesson uh, on how discipline pays and how you got to stick with your with your trading plan because this is one of the hardest thing I bet uh, when you're trading bigger sizes as well. You know, watching this price action getting so close to hit your targets. Let's let's see how how low it is. So it's 502, my target is at 505, so it's actually below my target, but the ask and spread price, bid and uh, bid and ask price didn't quite close. Let's see, where can I see view, a view bid price, bid is, but it needs to go below, ask price has to go below it, look at this, look at the spread, spread is killing me, let's let's see the spread, just, just uh, ask price, Five, yeah. Look at this. So this price has to go below my TP level for this to be activated. And it didn't. It didn't get. So sucks. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll actually stop the video here so that you just don't watch it, you know. And then we'll, uh, I don't know, I guess click a pause. Maybe it will. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pip away. It's pip. Spread is pretty big on Aussie Cat, looks like. A pip. Right now it's a pip. Let's see. Come on. Less than a pip. Half of a pip. Half of a pip. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Come on, come on. Sellers, push the price down. Yeah. Two more. 0.2, 0.3. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Targets one hit. Great lesson here. Hope you like my commentary a little bit. And yeah, let's see. Can we hit targets too as well? Thank you very much for watching. Again, consider subscribing if you like this. And speak to you soon. Bye-bye.
this is just too funny. So I'm preparing the video, about to hit the render button because I was transferring from my Canon to the to the Camtasia, and some kind of a news are hitting you, uh, Aussie CAD. Pr price goes down. I don't know how far away, almost to hit my targets too. Uh, low was 55. Uh, so the spread was actually like 0 0.3 pips or something and then the bars are coming in and it looks like I'll get stopped out for my second position. That's what trading is all about so we can wait to see is my second position going to be taken out or not. It looks like it will. Yeah, there, there we go. So that's the story of a trade on Aussie CAD. Hope you liked it. Hope you can get a lesson from it. If not, I'm sorry, but that... that I did, this was a good trade, I did what I supposed to do, I stuck with my trading plan. And this spread sucks, so what can we do about it? Not Nothing much. Yeah, so stay tuned, talk to you tomorrow, bye bye.